Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the first five perfect squares and square roots. Now remember, squaring a number means to multiply a number by itself. When it comes to square roots, square roots are the opposite, the inverse of squaring a number. So we need to think, what number multiplied by itself will equal the number under the root symbol? Let's jump into the first five perfect squares and square roots, starting with number one, where we have one squared. One squared, that means one times one. One times one equals one. So one squared equals one. That means that the square root of one equals one. Let's move on to number two, where we have two squared. That means two times two. Two times two equals four. So two squared equals four. That means that the square root of four equals two. Let's move on to number three, where we have three squared. That means three times three. Three times three equals nine. So three squared equals nine. That means that the square root of nine equals three. Let's move on to number four, where we have four squared. That means four times four. Four times four equals 16. So four squared equals 16. That means that the square root of 16 equals four. Let's move on to number five, where we have five squared. That means five times five, which equals 25. So five squared equals 25. That means that the square root of 25 equals five. So there you have it. There are the first five perfect squares and square roots. Now I would recommend getting down and knowing these five. Once you know these five, work to get down six through 10. This is really going to help with working with any squares or square roots moving forward and problems involving squares and square roots. I dropped the link to the six through 10 perfect squares and square roots video down in the description, along with some other related videos. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.